Hey, welcome everyone. This early morning recording slash stream. On just the camera there. That's before I head to work. Well, yeah. Um, I wanted to let a week pass after SummerSlam, after uh, both Monday Night Raw and uh, and and SmackDown, and seeing how the landscape is now. Before we did this uh, this little running video, so let's continue on. Only the lowest point was um, I would say the Braun Breaker and Sami Zayn um, match. I think that was the the one match that was like. Wasn't that, wasn't that good? And it was, I find it was actually hilarious how they made, they gave him a whole, um, full blown 20, 20 minute match in, um, money in a bank. And then we just had a five minute squash match on SummerSlam. It was, it was weird. Either way. That's so, all with that one, at least. But for the most part, um, all the matches were really good, including that Nia Jackson Bailey match. I didn't expect that to be so good, but it really was. So, the enforcer, Solo Sokoa. Um, I ain't gonna hold you. The main event between him and Cody, I feel like, was. It was it was really slow at the beginning. It was like the, I can't remember how long that match got. I think it was like over twenty minutes. And because it was bloodline rules, they had everybody show up. So you had the Tonga show up. You had um, KO. You had Randy Orton show up as well. Um, Obviously, the big, the big return of uh, of Roman Reigns was a big deal too. Which, speaking of which, um, yeah, that old TC shirt, I I gotta get, I gotta get my hands on that. I gotta get my hands on that. Well, like yo, the pop he got. When he came out there, bruh. <laughs> yeah, which I got him in the fit. <laughs> and that type, the title I have him with, that's the uh, Legacy Roman Reigns title. Bro, when I tell you they sold that thing out in like an hour, like even less than that. He garnered, I think he's, they just said he, he garnered him like $600 million. In, in merchandise, it, 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 just from him returning. Insane. And, like, what also clearly showed, yeah, um, Cody is definitely number two. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cody's run has not been that good, man. It, it just hasn't. Original Tribal Chief. Yeah, as you can see, I have him in the uh, the legacy belt that they had sold on it um, during SummerSlam. But yeah, it sold out like quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, it's now like thirteen hundred bucks or more on on eBay. It's crazy. One time I actually gonna I have to play the music, bro. Yeah. 
I would have liked to actually gotten that bill, but like, I ain't paying like $1,300, and that's $1,300 American, so Lord knows how much it costs up here in Canada. Um, another great match, um, that was like really hard hitting was that Damien Priest and uh, Gunther match. Woo! Damien Priest, they've done an extremely good job with him for the last four months. Like, he now he's a bona fide uh, baby face, and good for him, man. He like obviously he, he's he's put out a lot of work to step up to the place where he's at now. So. And I heard that documentary he, um, they did of him was really good. Unrestrained so. aggression that comes when facing Solo Sokoa? Yeah, this intro is long as hell. <laughs> you thought Undertaker's intro was long. Then you got this man. <laughs> Over here with the, like, the freaking superhero music going on. And he stays getting the pyro, by the way. <laughs> yeah. The fact he came in with the Jumpman Jack, um, the Jumpman Jack Jordans, bro, bro. I always saying Roman Reigns' shoe game is always underrated. When I do the uh, and next, the title is not on the line, but the, the next match is ready as ever. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I had written this competitor oh. off from pretty much jump, but their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. He's got to get through the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, um. though, and Solo is not someone you just get through. Uh, most superstars are lucky if they Let's can survive. Let's talk about the, survive, so we're we're on the next match. We're going to talk about the whole thing with the Judgment hey, Day. Because, good I lord. Goosebumps, and I'm not even in the match. Sokoa showing no fear up there. From way up. Great counter. Boom. Boot. Nice. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Ball by a forearm smash. a kick to the face and he's oh. able to reverse he's back into the ring oh whoa what the hell was that oh and Sakoa gets warded off there we go jumping clothesline Oof. And Sokoa gets taken a step back in the wrong direction there. Solo Sokoa has proven himself to be a ruthless powerhouse, Corey. How do you measure up to this kind of physical opponent? Well, Cole, you have to refuse to give Solo the outlet. I mean, jumped into ones, bro. Get crafty with your attacks and stay elusive. Solo wants to trap you in the middle of the ring to go blow for blow with him. So you have to give him the runaround. Solo must be getting phased by this attack. This is just a crafty offensive play. He's not allowing Solo Sokoa to make this a brawl. Watch out. Elbow drop to the heart. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Solo reverses and looks to capitalize. What a shot. Nope. Well placed punch, ugly, but effective response. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Elbows on the mark. Oh, that's just insulting. Come on. For the win. I'm gonna exert your energy here. Oh my god, he's still in the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Just disrespectful. Counter. 
And now there's an opening. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Oh, right to the throat. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. This man just like... Oh, we gotta talk about how Smack on SmackDown, how he just like easily took out the uh Oh look at this raining right hands. Not stop blows. Oh blow to the bread basket. So ruthless. Letting his opponent know that he can take on the world right now. Ooh. Rearing Whoa. Solo and Spike. Now Solo needs to end this. Shoulder up right away. How did he do that? I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. Uh-oh. The forearm going to cut off the wind. Guillotine applied. The enforcer of the bloodline. The guillotine locked in. This is all. No, it was an incredible counter caught with the boot. Let's run it. We may be moments away from Solo's demise. Spare. Feeling like it's over for Sokoa. Come on. Cover. This match him. <laughs> Oh man. Well yeah, on SmackDown, like he came in, took out everybody. Yo, the way I... Bro, the way he took out the Tongas was so disrespectful. <laughs> that man got the steel steps and just went full force. Oh my gosh. Man didn't forget those tweets from 2018, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, yeah, man. Um, also, what happened after SmackDown, the whole thing with the... Um, now Cody Rhodes and Kevin Owens are going to have a match at Bash in Berlin. Bruh, what, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. I felt SmackDown after SummerSlam wasn't that great. I mean, you had sort of a good segment with Cody and Kevin Owens and uh, and like Sako and the Tongans there. Um, speaking of which, um, Jacob Fatu is essentially injured. I, know it's, I think it's more of a work, but uh, he got injured after hitting that table spot uh, at SummerSlam. So I think they're trying to keep. Fatu and Roman away from each other for now because I know that like that's Fatu is really the only one out of the group that would give Roman trouble like somewhat of trouble right so it would be interesting to see what they do with that in the coming weeks um, but yeah Smackdown wasn't that, wasn't that interesting man um, like even Nia Jax who by the way like I, I mentioned that Bailey match was really good but um they didn't... What was it? They didn't really... Um, have her on SmackDown. It was weird. But I guess the, like, they, they can't fit in certain... Certain sections in, 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 the, in that two-hour show. Which... I won't be surprised if later down the line they make SmackDown a three-hour show. I would, I would not be surprised. But, um, yeah, um, what else was happening there that was, like, really, oh, yeah, the CM Punk, um, Drew McIntyre match, that was really good, yeah, that, that was really good, um, I don't have You 
You know what's funny? I'm supposed to have the damn arena here somewhere. Oh, I think I have it. Yeah, I have it here. There you go. Um... In the ring. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the big one, which was the, uh, well, where is it? The, uh, Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley match. That's the match started off the show, by the way. Good. Gosh, that match was good. Um, they had some crazy spots. There's the... Liv Morgan did this crucifix, um... This crucifix, uh, driver that looks vicious. And I think it was more because of how well we R- R- Ripley, um, sold it. But, man, it... Yo. <laughs> it looked... It looked vicious, bro. Um... Um, Hold up. I just recognize they just put a 76 rating on this. <laughs> oh, that's that's rude. I'm going to have to fix that later. Because she's actually an 80. I believe she's an 86 rating, really. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Rhea Ripley Summer. Yeah, I have her... Uh, under WrestleMania, wait, do I not have her in our summer sun attire? I could have sworn I had her in her SummerSlam attire. Oh, here it is. I knew I had it in her SummerSlam attire. Yeah, I gotta change that rating because there ain't no way that <laughs> she's a 76. Now let's add. We'll add Damien Priest. No, it may be a more interesting match now. But, um, yeah. Obviously, the... The betrayal happened. As I thought it would. Why is that Virginia Beach? Stupid. Oh, 
Um, but yeah, this match was very good. Uh, obviously, the obvious betrayal. That if you were paying attention the last few months, you kind of saw coming with um, Dominic Mysterio and, uh, and Liv Morgan there. Which I, I said the man made an executive decision, bro. <laughs> she showed him all the love. She gave him a PS5, gave him all the nuggies and tendies he wanted. She helped him beat Rey Mysterio. And she openly showing affection to the guy, like. This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I actually got her in the Summer Slam outfit as well. I can't watch this entrance. I heard this one backstage talking up their own work non-stop. Why don't they get in the ring? Why is Dominic look demon? <laughs> like, what the hell? Well, good. Let's see what they got then. Yeah, man. SummerSlam was really good. The Raw. Whoa, let's... Dog, we gotta talk about that. Oh, shoot. On the construction. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. Whitlow with a drop kick to the knee. Oh, by a forearm smash. Ooh, Sit down. Knee. That was on target. Hard to remain on your feet after that. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Get her legs. She's oh! Here. Yeah, you have to think her confidence is dropping now. What a German suplex! No. Nope. Kick right to the knee, right on the patella. A huge target on the knee after that. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Knee strike to the back. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. From the top. Oh. oh. The table's there. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Really? She wants to put an end to things here. From the top. She's got an answer for that. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh. Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. Getting set up for Whoa. something in the corner. Just blasting. Um. Oh, what? What was that? I got spooked by a taunt? Like, what is that? Great athleticism. 
And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? And the cover for the win. Mm -mm. But yeah. So regarding Raw, we had now the new Judgment Day, where it's uh it's Finn, Dominic, JD, um, Oh my gosh, she just counters everything I do, bro. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Fires back with a crucial elbow. And now she high what, tails what it the, out of the ring. What the hell happened there? Thin wrong there, just dictating the pace. Coming back in the ring. Drop kick to the knee. Her opponent has her cornered now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. <laughs> Here we go. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Sax. You know I get caught. Oh, we're going we're gonna be dramatic with the pins now. Trying to tell me that was late. Of course, this one's gonna be a long one. Oh! And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, what? Oh no, she's gonna put me in the prison lock. An inverted Texas Cloverleaf submission. This is painful. Think about all the pain she's in right now. Oh my god. That's twice I lost to Ripley on camera. <laughs> it didn't exactly go like that in SummerSlam, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, with Raw. What is it? Um, yeah, the debut of the Wyatt Six that happened, I believe, 11 years to the day that the Wyatt family was uh, premiered. Made they debut, so it was interesting how that went. But um, but yeah, man, this bro. Definitely, like, SummerSlam was, like, really, was really good. Um, the Raw afterwards was amazing. Um, SmackDown wasn't, wasn't that good, to be honest. I think only two major segments was literally the beginning segment with Cody Rhodes and the Bloodline again, and 
obviously the return of Roman Reigns at the end of the show. But hopefully, you know, now with Roman returning, SmackDown will be, be getting better. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to tonight's Raw, so we'll see how things shape up. Um, I may do another video focusing on NXT, see, we'll see what's going on over there as well. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream slash uh, recording to my YouTube viewers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you uh, if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and scare. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social medias in the description down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.